Hi there, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, we're going to do quick benchmarking for the same. This is the octa-core version and actually it has two uh, quad-core processor. Uh, one is clocked at 1.6 gigahertz and one is at 1.2 gigahertz. And also I have some other phones. This is a, what do you say, Sony Xperia ZL. And we also have the Galaxy S3, that's the quad-core version. So let's quickly start with the benchmarks. First, let me show you the Nina Mark uh, 2 benchmark. Again, it's not that relevant these days, but uh, just for the sake of it, let me show you the same. And as you can see, <laughs> we are getting the max score that is 60. 60 is the max score that you can get. And that's what we are getting on the Galaxy S4. Let's also look what we got with the Xperia ZL. And again, 59.2, so very close to that. And let's also look uh, at the original uh, Galaxy S3. And with the S3 also we get a respectable score of 58.2 FPS. But note that S3 has a lower resolution. That's a 720p HD screen. The S4 and the Xperia ZL had a 1080p screen. I also ran the Quadrant benchmarks. So let me show you the results now for them. And these are the Quadrant results. Let me start with the Galaxy S4. And we get a very impressive score of... 12,407. Again, let me uh, tell you the breakup. The total score is 12,407. And out of that, the CPU got a score of 39,883. Very impressive. Memory is 8,792. IO is 9,989. 2D is 1000. And 3D score is 2,472. So again, uh, this 12,407 has to be one of the max scores that I've seen uh, with an Android device. And uh, the Xperia ZL, we get a quadrant score of 7,649. And let's also look at the original uh, uh, S3. And uh, with the S3, we get a score of 5,632. Let's also look at the uh, Antutu benchmark. I saved the results. And again, we get a mind-blowing score of 28,356, which is, again, the highest score that I've seen on this benchmark. Let's see what the ZL gets. And the ZL gets a score of 20,000. And uh, the S3 gets a score of 15,286. Also, I did uh, run this new benchmark that's uh, actually uh, Geekbench. And with the new S4, we are getting a score of 3,550 in Geekbench. Again, that's a very respectable score. I also ran this Geekbench on uh, this Xperia ZL. And here we get a score of uh, 2,153. So overall, as you can see, in terms of benchmark, the S4 wins hands down. Again, I'll be doing a lot more video coverage with this S4. So again, if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and I hope to see you in my next video.